Hey everyone, it's Will Taylor coming to you with the weekend update shows that are coming up in the future. I'm just going to lay it down really quick. This Sunday at Strings in the Woods, when the sun sets, we have Dana Cooper. Dana Cooper, music legend, will be joining me with Karen Mall while the sun sets. You can bring a picnic, you can bring a friend, and if you share this video, if you take this video and share it on Facebook and bring that to the event, I'll give you 50% off everybody that you bring along for the event. So the weather is great after sunset. You're going to enjoy it. You'll love it. That's this Sunday, August 25th, stringsinthewoods.com to RSVP. All right. Now coming up on... September 14th, we're doing Beatles and Barbecue. Plenty of tickets available at a private piece of land in South Austin, Beatles and Barbecue. On the 20th of September, we have guitar legend Red Volkert. On October 5th, we're bringing back Bob Livingston for Strings in the Woods. And on October 27th, almost sold out Guy Forsyth with Will Taylor and Karen Mall at Strings in the Woods. We're also going to be playing on the 28th of September, the 50th anniversary of the Beatles Abbey Road album in Wimberley at the Wimberley Valley Winery with the Starlight Symphony Orchestra. Full band, Dave Scher on the guitar, Dave Madden, Karen Mall on vocals. Great shows coming out, coming to you soon. If you want all the information on this, you just go to stringsattached.org. Or you can uh, text me at 512-589-8749 for more information. So a quick recap. Dana Cooper this Sunday, which is August 25th. September 14th, Beatles and Barbecue at a beautiful backyard in South Austin. Uh, the 20th of September, Red Volkert. The 28th, Abbey Road. October 5th, Bob Livingston. October 27th. Guy Forsyth, get tickets, more information at stringsattached.org, or you can text me at 512-589-8749. Uh, a couple of things I want to mention. Um, there is a company called So Far Sounds that's been sort of corporatizing house concerts for the last 10 years, and I think it's really great what they're doing and getting young folks excited about listening to music and coming out. But this is what we do at Strings in the Woods, and we pay our musicians ethically. So if if you've heard of So Far Sounds or you've done that experience, come experience with us out in the woods after sunset when it gets cool and the weather's great. Stringsinthewoods.com. The other thing I want to mention is we're, I'm actually filming children and babies to make a sort of documentary style video showing how kids first respond to hearing the violin and music. And if you know somebody that would like to be part of this video project, please contact me directly. I already have three kids that I've filmed and it's been such a fun project. Another thing is, is that while there's so much negativity about Spotify and a lot of the digital services, but mainly Spotify, and I have to agree with most of it, the mere fact is, is that so many consumers and so many folks are there, just kind of like Facebook. This is where we find our fans. And right now I'm running a campaign for you if you're on Spotify, to just go on there and follow Strings Attached. It will help us. It will help us be found by more folks around the world. And you can still buy our CDs online. You can still come to our shows and support us that way. But that one little extra thing of following us will help us greatly. And another thing is, if you're interested in having Beatles in barbecue in your backyard, if you're interested in having a house concert, just reach out to me directly or... Google Strings Attached House Concerts. There's a great article out there. You just Google that and you'll find out more. So I'm looking forward to connecting with many of you soon at all the shows that we're doing. I'm really excited about the future of Strings in the Woods and the fact that So Far Sounds has proven that uh, there's a mass audience out there that is dissatisfied with a lot of the ways that music is presented in clubs, you know, where you have to deal with uh, the, the loudness of the music, where it's damaging your ears, where you have to deal with people talking and looking at their cell phones. And one thing that occurred to me, as, as well as the So Far Sounds folks, is that there are many other kinds of art where that's not the case. You know, you don't go to the movie theater and carry on a conversation or pull out your cell phone. Matter of fact, Alamo Drafthouse has made a successful model on 
marketing to people that want to hear and focus on the music and focus on being present. So we're doing that with Strings in the Woods. And I would encourage you to pass the word to your friends and come out and see us at a Strings in the Woods show or a Strings Attached show. It's, it's what we believe in and we're doing it ethically right here in Austin with a lot of the artists that you love. So I look forward to seeing you this weekend with Dana Cooper at Strings in the Woods or any a number of our other shows coming up. And please follow Will Taylor and Strings Attached on Spotify. You can do us a big favor by following Will Taylor and Strings Attached and you'll get all kinds of great music you can listen to that I'm releasing, including our Strings on the Bridge concert with Guy Forsyth, Karen Mall, Carolyn Wonderland, and Shelly King that we did two years ago, which we'll be releasing in a couple months. I know I've been talking about it for a long time. But I look forward to seeing many of you bring this video to Strings in the Woods. And if you've never been, I'll give you 50% off or an normal rate for you and anybody that you bring along. All right, keep enjoying music and keep getting out there, connecting with fellow human beings. Get off the, the <laughs> I encourage you to get off the devices and, and enjoy what life has to offer beyond computers and devices. Thanks so much. Take care, everyone. Hope to see you this Sunday, August 25th for Dana Cooper with Karen Mall and Will Taylor at Strings in the Woods.